there's an opportunity for massive disruption. And of course, some of these conglomerates will prevail through this change and some won't. I mean, just like IBM is still around. It didn't go anywhere. Honeywell isn't 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 around, right? So IBM IBM is innovating incredibly in quantum computing, actually, and they they may want they may wind up the leader in in the quantum computing revolution and end up being bigger than Microsoft or or, or Google just based on their quantum computing hardware, right? So I mean, some some companies will power through, and and so, some will, will 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 die. But I think there's an opening now for either a new generation of big tech companies to, to come and dethrone the previous generation of big tech companies or for AGI and advanced neural AI to develop in an open source and more decentralized way that, 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 than, than what we've seen. And I mean, just, just as Google seemed to come and Amazon seemed to come out of nowhere, I mean, and pioneer a whole new way of doing things. I mean, you could have a, decentralized open conglomeration of, of entities and organizations rise and, and dominate the next phase of, of AI in a couple year period faster than people are, are, are anticipating. And some of that groundwork's already been laid, Ben, because while well, I know Singularity Net's been on the blockchain for years, you know, we now for almost two years have been pretty heavy into the blockchain. I have a crypto and DeFi academy. I took my finance background and we went heavy into it. We've had you know, most of the layer one heads, the metaverse heads on this show for like long, deep conversations. And so we've been talking about web three versus web two for a long time. We've also directly experienced censorship, which is really a web two phenomenon. So we've been really yeah. seeing how these companies are potentially on their last legs anyways, and people want ownership of information. They want peer to peer transactions, which is interesting because this is happening right when this narrow AI potentially becoming AGI is happening at the same time when you're saying it can be even better open source, we've seen through crypto that open source works really well to create these new systems and the new generation mm -hmm. wants it. Do you ever wake up sometimes, Ben, and say, wait a second, this is the perfect storm, what's happening right now between maybe death of web two, growth of the blockchain, AI and AGI becoming a reality. Is that what you see? Yeah, so in in the bigger picture, it's a perfect storm, which is is fascinating, right? And as you say, the the rise of AI, the ma the maturation of of blockchains, the the frustration of the public with the nature of, you know, content regulation and in, in, in social networks. In the big picture, absolutely so. And when you when you look with a magnifying glass at the details of the state of advancement of the various technologies involved, then then it becomes more complex and, and, and frustrating. You're like struggling to get a certain bit of technology mature enough to to actually use, right? So, I mean, as as one example, on the AI side, I mean, you see these large language models are pretty smart, but they also bloviate and make up a bunch of of bullshit that 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 makes no sense, and so you 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 want to be able to combine them with a reasoning system that understands reality and can combine its imagination with insights into patterns gained from real world data and so forth. So we're looking at doing that now, combining large language models with open cog based reasoning. So we, we can extract well-structured logical knowledge from large language models, and then we can apply a reasoning engine to that logical knowledge, and then we can sift out a bunch of the bullshit, and we can make you know, more sensible stuff come out of our logic engine that incorporates all the knowledge in the language model. But you know, we're we're working on scaling up the reasoning in, in OpenCog. So we, we're building a new version of OpenCog that's more more large scale. And, you know, we're probably a year away from having a really scalable version of OpenCog engine that can work at the scale that large language models do. Then you look at GPU hardware. So this is well suited for neural nets. It's not that well suited for 
open cog based machine reasoning. So Jim Rickards has just recorded a video that's not available to anyone in the public and he's going to be talking about how this upcoming recession is going to be fast, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be nasty. But at the same time, he's going to show you how you can position yourself to profit from all of this chaos. Now we've made this video only available to our viewers. Go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim. Watch that immediately. I can't say enough good things about Jim Rickards. He understands the global economic system better than any guest I've ever had on London Real. His predictions are almost uncannily true, and you can learn how to profit from his vision, from his expertise, and his understanding of economics. So go to LondonReal.tv forward slash Jim or click the link below. It's an excellent, excellent look on what's gonna happen in the future and how you can position yourself to profit from that. Jim is one of the best in the business, one of my favorite guests on London Real, and he's very, very good at predicting the future and showing us all to profit from it. So click the link and I hope you enjoy. Hey, it's Brian Rose, founder of the DeFi Academy. I've told you my four week crypto bootcamp is amazing, but don't take my word for it. This is what my students are saying. The DeFi Academy was an amazing experience for me. It took me totally out of my comfort zone. In this course, I was challenged. I was held accountable and pushed to do things that honestly weren't always easy. It's been phenomenal. And I can't believe uh, we're already up on our four weeks. It has flown by. Going through this DeFi accelerator by far was one of the best courses I've taken. You do this course, you really get into the nitty gritty of the activities that will make you comfortable with decentralized finance. Thank you so much to Brian and everyone at London Real and the DeFi Academy for even putting together an amazing course like this. Anybody else that wants to do it, please sign up. It is well worth the money.